Today, I'm going to talk about how to program with the SSL indicator. I'm going to go through detail and have the code provided with you in this uh, video. So if you have any questions, uh, I'll, hopefully I'll get to them. But uh, let's start programming with the SSL now. First thing off, guys, open up MetaTrader 4 and open up uh, MetaQuotes, and that's basically F4. We're going to create a new trader. I'm uh, sorry, a new EA. And this EA is going to call it the SSL Trading or trader bot, just call it that. Now the SSL is a very good trend indicator, guys. It really can help people get, instead of doing like two moving averages, just use the SSL. So first off, guys, we're gonna start off with the basics of program with SSL. Here we go. So let's break this down in detail, make it a little bit bigger for you guys. So the first thing, guys, is we need the SSL period. So what is the period? What does that mean? Okay. So we're beginners, basically. The period on here, guys, is how big, basically, it will cross over. How many candles it goes over. So if we say 25 for the period, you can see that it crosses more. And it goes, it switches from red to green, green to red. So green on top means bull, red on top means bear, basically. Now, if we do a 50, it will go over more candles. And you can see that it goes over more candles, taking a long term. But if you guys want the uh, SSL to be a set of like a, a simple or, or different ways of looking, uh, going over the candles, just change it from here from smoothing methods. And you can see that now it's on smooth instead of uh, linear. I think linear is three. Just like that. And you can see that it goes over a little bit more. So different ways of looking at the uh, smoothing methods. Well, for this video, guys, we're going to uh, go on for three, okay? And make sure when we're going through, we we uh, we fill out the int, the int for our smoothing methods is three, okay? Our double is going to be the SSD, is the name of it. It's going to be I custom, null, and 30, those are going to be our, let's change our period to zero. So that's basically once it gets onto the, uh, it can go to any chart, null, basically, we're watching all formulas. For this indicator, guys, this is something that I made or uh, modified a little bit. It's going to come with SSL edit, edit it for speed. So if you have any other indicator that's named SSL, just copy and paste the name of that SSL and use iCustom for that. Our period is going to be SSL right here. Our smoothing method is going to be right here for three. And we're going to have false, 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 zero, zero. And then I'll break that down a little bit more in detail. So if you have our SSL, let's go to indicator right here. Let's go to uh, SSL design for speed. So if you want alerts off, alert alerts message off, you can change it all to false. It's up to you. Alert sound, alert email. I just turned on false for this video, okay? Now, well, since we got all that done, we need to trade, basically this indicator is gonna enter a buy order or sell order based on, for this video, it'd be buy, or, buy order once it crosses and holds that value by so the green for at least two candles, okay? So we're gonna need some other code to help distinguish that, and I'll break it down as we go. All right. So the first thing is we need to indicate the up and down of our indicator. So we have SSL, basically it's the exact same code, guys. Oh, let's change this to zero. Now I'm just changing the, uh, the time frame so it's on default. So when we get our code guys, our SSL UI custom, we want to make sure that the upper value is indicated by one and the lower value are the red basically is, uh, is indicated by zero. Now we want it to have our cross and at, when we get to our cross guys, when you see this stuff like this, let me zoom in a little bit more. So when you see our cross, we want to enter at that cross plus two candles. So we gotta make sure we get our cross done. So we need to indicate back two. So we have SSL, you know, back one, back two, and that's how we have the code. If you have any questions, guys, let me know. I will have, I'll be happy to answer them. So now we have our bull statement to see if it's all true, okay? So we have SSL, <laughs> our SSL buy. So we gotta make sure the SSL D, our current one, is uh, below it, I'm sorry, uh, below the SSL up, and all of it reading the same. So when it crosses over, 
we're into the trade, and we enter basically all once he hits that cross, okay? Or basically once he hits the cross, and it can buy between those. But that's just how we're gonna have this for this video. Now we're gonna have our if statement, guys. Let me see. So if the SSL true equals equals, uh, basically make sure it's true, and our orders total, then we'll enter the trade. Let me put this down. We have our buy order. Our order, uh, buy order is the name of the, uh, our trade. It would be from an INT. We have order send, so it sends the order. Now, if you have any questions about how to program this, just do order send and hit F1. It'll give you all the details about it, how to fill it out, okay? Now, uh, our, we're doing an instant execution buy. Our lot size is 0.01. We're going to enter on the ask. Our slippage is 10, so it doesn't go off too much. Uh, and our uh, our stop loss is going to be 100 pips because we're using pound yen, one of my favorite pairs. Also, our target problem is 100 pips. For the comment section, I just use a zero. You can change the comments. It, it helps filter out trades and which order went through. It's kind of like a really, it's a really good way to filter trades and how to uh, modify them. But that's later videos. But for this guys, for the uh, magic number, you use one, two, three, four, five, six. Our pending order will be zero, and we do clear orange. So if this is all true, all working well, hit compile. We have no errors. Now we're going to go to our trader right here. We're going to use pound yen. We're going to use our SSL trader. Give me a second. Where is that? SSL trader bot. We're going to go to the four hour. And before we start it, guys, it doesn't matter the date. This is just an example. But since we're on the four hour, we're going to open up the SSL for speed. We're going to use our same values. Value is 25 and 3. Okay. So once that gets let it, uh, running, we'll up, uh, up to, uh, basically add this to the code. I'm sorry, to the trader. So you can see the indicator run. And every time it turns green for the buy, two or three candles uh, go through. Then it'll enter the buy and then close the trade, either positive or negative, or re enter. Well, let's open that up again. So we had our settings as what? 25 and 3. Okay, and okay. Let's make this false. All right, now we have our indicator. Now to make it a little bit more visually, uh, so you guys can see a little bit better, we're gonna hit F8 before it runs. You can just do black all white and then hit this right here. So now let's get it to run, guys. You can see that is working pretty good, and boom, we hit our first buy order. You can see that it did stop out. This trade does not indicate that it's a winning strategy. It's showing you how to program with the SSL. So if it blinks, so basically when it's blinking, that's what I would call uh, call it. When it's turning red to green, it won't turn back to green. It won't turn the trade in until two or uh, two, two candles are fully positive. And this is a very simple way to program with the SSL. And if you need the indicator, I will have it, the link to you guys can download it and have the, uh, basically be able to modify it. So once again, we enter our buy right here, you can see, and we just keep on re-entering. Now, there's other code that I have that, that basically limits that, that it can be, uh, what's it called, right at the corner right here. So if you guys want it at the, the cross, basically I can add some other code. Or what, what can be done is you can limit how many trades are entered per time frame. And let's go into a little bit detail of that. So this will keep on re-entering and re-entering as long as this uh, formula is true. So oh. let's go back to the code. And we do an and statement. So if you guys want the cross, you guys can have this. Let me say have this. You can just do the bull statement. S S L cross. So we know that the current one back, two back are all going to be green. We need three back. So we can just do this, make it a little bit fancier. We'll create the exact same thing, just hit copy. Okay. And paste. And now we have our third one right here. Three and three. Go back to the end of the uh, code right here and type in three. Okay. 
So now we have our indicator settings. Now our by cross, we can just do this, uh, right? Right here and right here. It's gonna have to be opposite, remember? So, should be no errors. Go up through here, double and equals equals true. So now, when we have that problem of re-entering, we only want the cross. We do this. Open up our trader. We hit stop. We'll try it again. Actually, hit compile. Make sure. Always make sure you hit compile. All right. And now we hit start. And we'll open up the indicator once again. Just got to get the settings down. What was? Where are we at? Twenty-five and three. And then you can see that it'll only enter off that cross, saving you guys a lot of time. There's other code that I, I would implement so it can enter in again based on that trend and catch a uh, pullback within that trend right there. But you guys don't have to. This is a very simple video for people learning how to you know, program the SSL. So we'll go through here, guys. It was uh, 25, I believe, and three. Yep, 25 and three. Change our settings to this settings right here and we'll look at some candlesticks so let's try it again and now it will remove that situation so it's not always re-entering and re-entering again okay so we have our first enter so it entered off that cross we make sure to do cross once so one two and three red but let's see it on that same trade that we took before and doing this, guys, will allow you to test your guys' as a strategy to see if it works. And for me, I always test uh, live for 30 days after doing like a two-year uh, strategy test. And using the SSL as one of my favorite indicators. And this indicator really helps catch really good trends. So look, see how it entered the trade and we get our buy. And you can see it doesn't re-enter uh, again. And if you're looking for that, I added that code so you guys can have it. But this is just a basic video on how to program with the SSL. So if you have any questions or comments, guys, let me know. Please like, share, and subscribe. It will really help out the channel. I, I do talk about a lot of things when it comes to trading and money and business, all that. But just subscribe to the channel, guys. Like the video, drop a comment. If you have any questions, the code will be either in the description or in a pinned comment. But that's the video, guys. I'll see you guys on the next one.